Hey there, my name is Robert Cogburn, lead multiplayer game designer over here at Naughty Dog. And I'm Quentin Cobb, game designer here at Naughty Dog. And today we're going to talk about patch 1.15, which features tournament upgrades, a new treasure drop system, matchmaking improvements, and the much anticipated classic mode, and a ton of other cool tweaks. Yeah, a bunch of new tweaks, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. One of the first things we've addressed for patch 1.15 is matchmaking. We've improved it by matching up players of the appropriate legacy levels. Now, players of higher legacy levels will be matched with other players of that same legacy level. We've also greatly improved team balancing during matchmaking, so legacy levels are taken into consideration when balancing teams. The tournament system has gotten an overhaul. First, we've created a leaderboard for weekly tournament scores. This will show the highest tournament scores players earned in a single game for that week. The tournament point formula has also been revamped a little bit. Previously, you would earn zero points anytime you'd lose a match. Now, you'll be earning points based off your kills and deaths. You should go ahead and check out the Naughty Dog website for more information. We'll be rolling out new gun skins and shade pieces over the next several months as tournament prizes. This means a bronze tier won't just be gold guns. Some of the new gun skins even include the actual Naughty Dogs themselves, Trumpet and Pogo. We're going to start things off with three new fireball guns for the bronze tier rewards and new shade pieces for the silver and gold tiers. You'll see more new rewards roll out over time. We've also added a counter for tournament rewards that are permanent. Now you can see how many times you've hit gold tier on the way to unlock the gin skin. We'll be adding new permanent rewards at a later date, so be on the lookout at the Naughty Dog website for a rundown of all the new items. For players who are curious as to what their opponent's tournament tier is, the in-game scoreboard now shows the tournament tier for each player if that player is ranked in the tournament. In 1.15, a treasure drop will always be a treasure. We've gotten rid of the Just Cash medal and we placed it with Plus Cash. Whenever you receive a Plus Cash medal, you will also receive a treasure. Also new to 1.15 is a treasure drop over time. Now, after extended gameplay times, a treasure is sure to drop. Spending a tournament ticket in-game will increase your chances of getting a treasure drop. This will even increase your chance of rare treasures to drop during a game you spend a tournament ticket in. Earning treasures in elimination is obviously pretty hard, so we've gone ahead and increased the chance of elimination treasures to drop, so you'll be able to unlock those custom parts a lot easier. An exciting new addition to 1.15 is Classic Mode. This mode will replace the hardcore playlist and everything pertaining to it. Classic Mode has the same health settings as other competitive playlists, so no more increased health. Your boosters will be active while your kickbacks will be inactive. The ability to throw back grenades and buddy spawning has been disabled. Most importantly, you will begin each match with an unmodded AK and PARA 9, and lots of unmodded weapons spread across each map. Make sure to explore the maps in Classic Mode as there are lots of weapons in unique places. New to 1.15 is a toggle to turn off the stats for your headgear. Now you can play with your headgear without any stats on. We've also gone ahead and added 11 new taunts for you to celebrate your victories with. Taunt over your dead opponents. New to the main menu in 1.15 is the extra section. This menu will take you to a special in-game store where you'll be able to download trailers and purchase other Uncharted games. We've got lots of exciting new block mesh lab maps coming, so we've added the ability to watch your block mesh maps in cinema mode. Have you been killed with a teammate's revenge grenade? I know I have. So now with patch 1.15, that will no longer happen. Revenge grenades will no longer damage teammates. Well, that's it for patch 1.15. We've got much more coming for Uncharted 3. Make sure to visit NightyDog.com so you can stay up to date on updates, including the calendar that'll show upcoming lab maps and community events. Buddy high five. Freeze frame. Station.